What's up, Internet? My name's Ian Bloom, and this is Nerd Finance. I'm your resident financial life planner and huge nerd. So our topic today is, what is a 401k? And in nerd finance terms, 401ks are kind of like Spindas from Pokemon. They're all pretty much the same, but at the same time, they're all a little different from one another. So we'll cover them a little bit here, but ultimately, they're going to be pretty unique to the one offered at your employer. So... Section 401 subsection K of the IRS tax code describes what a 401k is. So the name's not very complicated, it's just from a document. And they're ultimately retirement plans with your employer. Contributions from your paycheck, either on a deferred basis or an after-tax basis, go into the 401k, often with a match from your employer. I won't be covering the differences in a traditional or Roth 401k as much here, but ultimately know that if you make traditional contributions, your dollars are not taxed that day, but they will be taxed when they're withdrawn from the 401k later. And if you make Roth contributions, your dollars are taxed today, but will most likely not be taxed at withdrawal. So depending on your tax situation and the advantages and how long you have till retirement, there are a couple of different ways you can handle it. Most 401ks have different investment options, typically mutual funds. And mutual funds are very unique, kind of like Baskin Robbins flavors. You can almost find a different one every time you look for them. But the difference between mutual funds is ultimately not that great. And as long as you know what categories you're looking for, you can probably select the options in your 401k. Know that if you don't select one, there's often a target date fund, which is a specific type of mutual fund that your employer will put you into. And those can be okay. Um, they are based on the life cycle that you have, but ultimately they're probably not the most efficient way for you to have your money invested. So think about that um, and maybe work with an investment professional on how you should be allocating your 401k. Ultimately, all the money in your 401k is your money unless it was contributed by an employer. And most of the time, even your employer's funds can be taken with you if you leave the employer after a vesting period. So given that, you have the ability to move this money around if you should leave your employer and it's your money for retirement. That said, don't necessarily move your money just because you've changed employers. You'll want to know what the terms of the next employer's 401k are or what your other investment options available to you are out in the open market before you decide what's best. Um, so doing some of that research can pay off pretty big. The last question I get surrounding 401ks is, how much should I save? And that's kind of a well it depends sort of thing. I can't really give you specific directions until I know your circumstances. Just like in strategy games, it's really hard to tell people what the best strategy is until you know what the enemy they're up against is. When you're looking at a financial plan, there are different ways to tackle all sorts of issues and it's gonna depend on what the circumstances of the individual are. That said, there's a pretty good hard and fast rule that saving at least as much to earn the match is probably going to benefit you in some way. Um, free money is free money, and you might want to take that from your employer. So um, there, there's a lot of layers to investing in 401ks and 401ks themselves, but I wanted to make sure to provide at least an overview here since they are a very common investment vehicle, and people often ask me about them. So that's all for today. Um, thanks for tuning into this episode of Nerd Finance. I hope there was enough nerd and just enough finance in there for you. But if you have suggestions for future videos, content you would like to see, comparisons you would like to see made, follow us on social media at OpenWorldFP on Twitter and OpenWorldFP on Facebook and LinkedIn. You can also subscribe to this channel or check out our website, openworldfp.com. Thanks so much. Have a great day.